Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to replace your screen on a Series 2 Apple Watch. And turn it around. There will be a button on the back. You'll press the button and just slide one of the bands out. And then do the same thing with the bottom. Press the band with your thumb. Slide it out. Alright, next you're going to want to take your housing and you're going to want to put it into a clamp or something or just get a heat gun and heat up the screen itself to release the adhesive just to make it easier to access the screen. So after about 60 seconds you're going to want to take your housing out and now you're going to want to take a slim pry tool you're going to want to use that slim pry tool to kind of dig underneath the screen between the screen and the housing itself we'll take this slim pry tool here and start doing that just carefully go around the edge try not to go in too deep or you may puncture a wire or even the battery so just slowly go around and pry off that adhesive from your screen. Thing to keep in mind is not to go too deep underneath the screen because there is a force touch sensor that you can kind of pry up and rip. So that's just something to keep in mind. And once you get most of the screen up you start prying on it and kind of peel the adhesive back and get under that under get under that screen a lot better okay and now that we have the screen off of the adhesive we can now unplug the screen from the connectors i use this really pointy tweezers right here to kind of peel this tape back from the connectors you know, just kind of want to get underneath the tape, peel them back, and then flip the little clasp on the connectors to release them. Just do them one at a time. Just careful not to break them. And after you get those released, we can gently pull the screen off from those connectors, like so. Another thing you can do is remove the tape from these connectors just to make it easier to install the new screen. I like to do this just simply because it is hard to try to do all three of the connectors at one time. So we'll install each connector individually. So once we get one of them in, it will get easier, but take your time. Try not to rush yourself and each connector should slide in. They'll kind of like bottom out and then you'll know they're in all the way. And after you get them in, we'll just close that clasp back up to clamp it down. Now that we got all three of them plugged in and clamped back down, we can now take that little black piece of tape that was covering the connectors. We'll take that piece of tape and lay it back on top of the connectors to hold it down. So even if you kind of tug on the wires, they'll stay in a lot better. And now that we have the connectors plugged in, we can turn the watch on to see if the screen turns on. Looks like the screen does turn on. So what we're going to do now is get some V7000 adhesive to glue the screen back down to the housing itself. We'll just take a small little strip. We're going to put it on the force touch sensor. Make sure to not use too much. Don't apply 
a huge amount on the edges to where when you put the screen back on it's gonna like overflow I just like to do a nice small bead of this adhesive and then after we're done here we'll just close up the housing kind of give the screen a nice nice little press to kind of secure the adhesive to the screen Now we'll take the take the screen, close it up, kind of apply some pressure. All right, screen fits nice and tight. Screen still turns on. Battery will need to be charged, but yeah, we'll just take a cleaning cloth, kind of clean up the excess adhesive here, and. The watch should be good to go now. Just charge it up. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Link will be in the description for parts and any servicing that you will need.